Hello everyone, my name is Joni and welcome to Love Qualified. I am a second year physician associate student training in London and this week is going to be my last week of PA school. So if you have been watching my channel um, over the last two years, you would know that I have documented the major highlight on my time in PA school. I vlogged my very first week of PA school in first year, in second year. I've shared my journey through placements. All of that is in the playlist, the videos and the playlist down below. And this is the final week of placement and the final week of PA school. So I thought, why not? I'm just going to vlog the final week of um, placement and PA school and just map my thoughts, document my thoughts, how I'm feeling. At the moment, I'm just excited to be done. Maybe I'm going to feel a bit more sad as the week progresses um, in terms of my when I speak to my friends, realizing that I'm, I'm not going to see a lot of my friends anymore, you know, when we move on to adulthood and adult life and all that kind of stuff. But for now, it's excitement and we're going to go with that. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm on my last ever rotation of placement, which is the emergency medicine rotation. So I'm in the emergency department. Um, and I'm just going into placement this morning. The reason why I'm wearing casual clothes is because we wear scrubs in hospital, in the emergency department. So I usually wear my own clothes, go into hospital, change into scrubs, and then we take it from there. So I'm going to go in now and um, I will speak to you guys throughout the week and see how things go. So yeah, let's go to placement. You know I started recording, right? Oh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Hi, welcome to my office. What is your name? Bumi Salah Oludayan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And today's the last day of placement. Yeah, the last day as a student ever. As a student ever, ever, ever. Okay, come here so we can see you. Three questions for you. Number one, describe second year in one word. Struggle. Struggle. <laughs> Okay, good, good. <laughs> Number two, what advice would you give first years coming to second year? One advice, one. One advice? One, t one piece of advice. Study from day one. Okay. Netflix is overrated. Okay. <laughs> and then for first years starting? Oh, first years? Yeah. Oh, um, make good friends because you're going to need them. Yep. Um... Don't make useless friends because there's no point. Um, have a good study group. Yeah. Zoom sessions are your best friends. Yep. Especially now like, post COVID. Yeah, like OSCEs and like revision practice, exam practice and stuff. Um, and always smile. Be nice to the nurses. Yeah. That's for second years. Oh, sorry. Second years. Buy nurses coffee and drinks. Yeah. Bribery. We'll Bribe you. them. Bribery so they can we'll sign you off. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. So this is it. This is this the is end. it. This is the end. Oh. Are you sad? Um, I'm sad that I won't see a lot of people anymore. Well, like me. It's not like we're dying or anything. Like me. Yeah, I'll miss you. Oh, I'm gonna miss you too. Yeah. You're the best placement partner ever. Oh my god, stop it! You are <laughs> cute or whatever. No, I'm gonna miss you. Though. I'm gonna miss you, darling. Like, oh, I'm really gonna miss you. Okay, I'm gonna stop before I cry. Oh. Gosh. Okay, guys. One more thing. The very talented Bemi Sola here. So she made these face masks. She has an Etsy store called Couture by Bimmy. If you need a nice face mask like this, go and check out her store. And she sells other things like hand fans and other travel pillows and whatnot. She's so good. Go and check her out. Okay, bye. We're going for a picnic. Bye. <laughs> Hi, guys. So we've just come to the park. <laughs> We've come to the park for the end of placement picnic celebration, whatever this is going to be. And we're waiting for the rest of our friends because we're the first people here, I think. And Bimmy is... Black time. Black, black people to actually, we're early. Wait, no, we're supposed to start at four. What's the time? We're Five o'clock. We're one hour late and we're the first people here still. Three to five. It's 
three minutes to five but yeah we're on time we're very much on time because no one else is here um, we're trying to stay away from the sun yeah we're in the shade because you know we come to the park to stay in the shade <laughs> ha 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 hi Stop it. Say hello to the vlog. <laughs> hey guys. Long time was good. What's good? What's good? What's good? Okay. One word to describe the whole year. The whole year of two? year two. I would say resilience. Resilience. Mm. Wow. <laughs> wow. Woo. Wow. Woo. She's so wise. Okay. So one piece of advice for second years. <laughs> Um, keep on top of everything. That's revision, <laughs> uploading, <laughs> patience online, yeah. everything. Just be keep on keep on top of it. Okay. And yeah. for first years, first years, get your notes written from day one. Okay. Yeah. Did you write your notes? There's some PowerPoint. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> true. Some, yeah. Listen to Auntie Salma, everybody. Okay. Thank you. Hello, Tamara. Uh, Can you introduce uh, yourself? Hi, I'm uh, Tamara. I'm a uh, final year PhD uh, student. Whip, 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 whip. Can you describe the whole year in one word, second year? Um, if I could describe the whole year, I'll just describe it as tiring. Tiring. It's a very, very long year. Oh, bless you. Yeah. Okay. Okay, <laughs> but you made it. You made it. So, how can you, what, uh, one piece of advice for first years going into second year? So I'd say make sure you have like a good like friendship group within the course yeah. because you're going to need those people like Oskies, you're going to yeah. need those people when it comes to revision and then you can like swap notes about so that you can cover the whole matrix together yeah. so you don't have to do everything by yourself yeah. because it's actually a lot of work. Yeah, it's a lot of work. It's very intense guys, very intense. Honestly. <laughs> and one tip, one tip for people who are starting first year. Um, start your matrix and yes, don't leave so. that thing to second term. Start it now. Use nice CKS, yes. GP notebook. Yeah. Oh, those yes. are your friends. Yes. Forget any other random websites <laughs> and do your knobs properly. Yeah. At first, I thought knobs were a joke, but yeah. knobs is what's going to make you pass. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank you, Tamarat. You look so beautiful. The sun is shining in your perfect skin. But You're listening. Okay. <laughs> What do you want me to say? Hello guys, this is Clementina. You've seen her before, but still introduce yourself. Hi guys, I'm Clementina, aka Pretty Clem. Pretty Clem. <laughs> okay, can you describe second year in one word? I think for me, it was very challenging. Challenging, okay. Okay, we thank God we've gotten to the end. God has brought us this far. And one piece of advice for first years going into second year. I think for first years, I would say start your matrix early mm -hmm. and like be confident in yourself and mm -hmm. your ability. Mm -hmm. Literally trust God. I feel like if I could do it, like anyone could do it. Just yeah. trust God and trust yourself. Yeah. Be confident. Start everything early. Like literally right from September, mm -hmm. start doing your DSM and start doing past med if you can. Like it, it will really help you. Okay. And people starting first year. Oh, you mean second year? Oh yeah, second year. So for those starting second year, um. Even if you haven't done your, um, you haven't done all your um, DSing, mm -hmm. it's never too late. Start yeah. from now, like, and make sure you have group study with your friends to like revise for OSCEs and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. So um, yeah, so group study um, for OSCEs and then like do pass med. Even pass med, if you don't want to do on your own, you can do it with friends. I feel like sometimes when, we, when you're with other people, it kind of motivates you to study. Yeah. So yeah, so do it with other people and yeah. Um, what else can I say? And make sure you go to placement. Yeah! I mean, you can skip some days, but like, make sure you go to placement. Go to placement, some, guys. Sometimes you learn a lot from placement, yeah. and even if you haven't gone through all your DSM, yeah. when you get to that, um, when you get to the exam hall on that day, like, you, you remember kind of, you from remember placement, stuff, yeah. yeah. From your experiences at placement, yeah. it helps you to remember stuff. Yeah. So yeah, just um, 
trust yourself honestly don't be scared um, and if you're struggling speak to your friends yeah or like speak to the faculty I don't and know, the personal but personally i'll say speak to your friends first yeah. or your family like if you're struggling ask for help yeah asking for help doesn't mean you're weak like yeah. it doesn't mean you're weak ask for help and i'm sure there'll be people willing to support you and if there's no one come to john yeah. tell john to tell me i will help you please <laughs> Yes, guys. Yeah, Thank uh, you, Clem. I wish you guys all the best. Thank you. I'm sure you do amazingly yeah. well. Amen. Like, but throughout the whole process, take care of yourself. Like yes. your mental health. Yes. Take care of yourself. Listen to Auntie Clem. You need to take care of yourself. Like <laughs> take a break if it's for you to just go to the park or for you to travel. Like just something. Even if it's just for the weekend. Like take regular breaks. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Peace out. God Peace. bless. God bless. See fine gear. Let me see. Go and stand. Go and stand there. You will see when I edit the video. Stand there. <laughs> All right, guys. This is Fifi. Introduce yourself. My name is Phyllis. I'm one of Joan's friends. I'm sure you've seen me on her channel. Yes, so we have seen your beautiful face before. Yeah. And one word to describe second year. Um, I would say stressful for me personally. Mm. Um. Because like trying to do placement studies, yeah, and then jobs like your own yeah. job, or, like my own like side job, like, yeah, it was really stressful for me. Mm -hmm. Like having to come home late in the night and having to study for exams, like it was very stressful for me. Oh, but bless then you. COVID happened, yeah, we had like this long break, so yeah. I was able to like rest, relax, and all that. But then coming back in, I think June, June yeah, yeah, yeah. I think June, July has been a bit more relaxing, yeah, because has. I think. Um, my placements were in that. Um, how do I do this? Maybe I, maybe I got, to, I, I got like more experience. It wasn't yeah, too me. It wasn't too intense. Balance. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't, I think it wasn't intense. Like I still had to study. Yeah, but it wasn't as, as when I started, like in second year, like yeah. first, the first time I started. So, yeah. But yeah, I think it's been stressful, but here we are. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Yay! So, what advice would you give second years? Um. I think everyone has said the same. Thing. Nah, it's okay. Like, Say it still. Upload your things. Like me, upload I'm your so docs <laughs> and your timesheets. Upload your docs, your timesheets, because uh, and your certificates as well. Like, yeah. It's very important. Like I had to go search for my like last minute, but thank yeah. God I found all of them. Yeah. And then um, I think you should do more revision. Like yeah, books revise. Friends, yeah. Form groups of friends. Do practice, especially now that there's COVID. You might not be able to go to uni. Mm. So form groups with friends, use teams, use it for OSCE practice, yeah. come to uni or maybe meet somewhere and then do like OSCE practice as well. Yeah, yeah. It really, really helps. And for first year? Um, oh my god, first year. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is going to be very stressful for yep. you, like two years. Brace yourself. So yeah, just brace yourself. And then just know that you can do it as well. Like don't think you cannot do it. Yeah. If you, if you put in the effort, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So then, yes. Then just make sure you're using nice. Do your matrices early. Um, again, form groups. Um, make use of your friends. Yeah. Make use of your friends. If you can share matrices, like Joan has helped me so much with the matrices. Oh. <laughs> yeah. If you can I'm share, glad. just share with your friends as well, and it really goes. It, it goes a long way for them as well. Yay. Yeah. Thank God. Thank, Thank you for being on the channel. <laughs> Goodbye and God Bye. bless. <laughs> That. Hello, my name is Tanya and I'm a final year physician associate. And can you describe second year in one word? Long. Ah! <laughs> That's true, it's almost a year, you know. Like September last year to it's long. It's very long. Okay, no worries. It's the end, it's over. Well done. Proud of you. You passed. All the like amazing, amazing. What would you what advice would you give second years? Not like first years we're not going into second year i would say don't shy away from getting to know all the tutors all yeah. the teachers around it's not like by it's not like by med or undergrad but like it's good to get a good relationship with your teachers yeah because after when you're in second year you can get references and you have that connection so yeah it's good yeah okay good 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 that's a good one and what about second years 
second years who are now starting places. I would say work on your typhoon. If they tell you you submit the certificate by this time, do it. Log in your log your patients and do it. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Do everything on time. Do everything on time. Awesome. Well thank you very much, Miss Denton Paul. Anything else to add? Nothing. Nothing. You'll be fine guys. Two years. It'll take ages, but then when you get to this point, you went so quick. Exactly. Yeah. All right then. Goodbye. Now we gotta look a little bit dusty, but this is like my regular routine, no more face. <laughs> um so in one word it would be um chaotic. Honestly, like just with the way that we had to organize exam or they had to organize exams the course covid my life literally chaos everywhere like but by god's grace we made it to the end one piece of advice that i would give to first years would be just know your matrix like the matrix is your bread and butter for the physician associate course if you know your matrix it will be a smooth sailing boat for the pa course that is my first and only piece of advice for first years for second years the advice that i would give is that they should use their time wisely honestly time is of the essence in second year like if you don't have your notes right get them right from the beginning because it just makes everything so much easier just remember throughout your second year keep that in your mind time is of the essence and like you can have the best life if you use your time wisely in second year they have always emphasized that the moral fiber which unites our faculty and our profession is the decency, the kindness, and the respect we show our patients. I look around me at the faculty, the ones who you have seen on the um, show today. So many of them once sat opposite me, and they today sit with me. I look at you, the ones who have come to the end of the program, and I know that one among you will betray me and take that final lecture off my hands and condemn me to retirement. As you cease to be a student of mine and soon become my colleague, remember that none of us are without bias or prejudice. None of us. Be known for your depth of knowledge and your informed passion. Students in previous years have always heard me joke that I'm one error of judgment away from being that man who sleeps on the park bench. The story has now changed over the last 12 years. Now I look ahead and I realize I'm only a few decades away from being that old man on bed 13, lying there one day. When I hear people cry around me, I know I don't need to despair and ask God, do you hear the people cry? Whom will you send? For I know when I look around me, I will see you holding the hand, kind and compassionate, clinically competent. That's my hope and prayer for all of you. Amen. Amen. So guys, I'm just taking a trip down memory lane and I just thought I would scroll all the way back. This is my YouTube channel, if you didn't realize. Scroll all the way back just to show you how far we've come to our very first PA school vlog. So this was when I was preparing for PA school. So let's do, let's do that one. And then we'll do induction week and then we'll do first week of lectures. Just like a recap in it. So this is when I was preparing for PA school. This was June 2018 during the World Cup. <laughs> this is when I was stressing about like getting all the things ready, my vaccination, MMR stuff ready. This was when my books first came out. Oh, sorry, my books came, my textbooks, the top 100 drugs. Let's say, like, out of all these three, I don't even use them that much anymore. So I, I, I gave away this book, The Mind Maps for Medical Students. The top 100 drugs book was really useful. The clinical medicine book, it was useful for a while, but now the only book that I really find useful is this one and I know I've mentioned this loads of times but oh well um, <laughs> so uh, let's see what else from this video 
this is my graduation from undergrad oh this was this seemed like such a long time ago but this was only two years ago to be honest like this is god has been so faithful um look at my mom at the back she's so cute um and then this was when my stethoscope came to be honest guys i would recommend a litman i'm gonna buy a litman stethoscope hopefully when i start working by god's grace and yeah so that was all my prep and like preparing for the medical quiz exam which stressed me out but it turned out to be all right actually <laughs> um and then this was induction week i remember my very first day i was so nervous oh my gosh look at me this is Joan from two years ago um, <laughs> and this was me going back as a post-grad student um, this was when we got our iPads um, this was just you know all this day me getting to meet new friends and just getting to make friends and meet new people I thought it was, uh, it was interesting this was when we were bonding with the cohort this was the day I wrote my medical quiz exam and found out it was actually not that deep. And then this is when we we're having a tour of the university or a treasure hunt or something like that. So yeah, this was a very interesting vlog. The first vlog I actually did with my iPhone, I think. Um, yeah, and then the la the first week, the very first week of lectures. Um, I remember I didn't have Wi-Fi at my house, so I had to go to the university to do my reading my head was hurting at this point because I was learning all of that anatomy and physiology which I hope has stopped has stuck in my head after two years um, you can see the tiredness in my face well maybe I'm not I don't look tired but I was tired um, and then this was when I was talking about my Etsy shop, which I'm going to reopen in the future, I sell, if you didn't know, I used to have an Etsy shop. I sell handmade stationery items and some of the items and bookmarks and art prints and all of that. I'm hoping to open that in the future. And this was just when we're trying to get into my study routine, like trying to figure out how to study and uh, learning communication skills and clinical skills and at the same time working on the Kindle edition of my book um, Outpourings of Beloved Heart which if you didn't know um, looks like this 30 day poetry devotional all about God's love and you can see me there procrastinating already on the first week of lectures that's amazing Joan absolutely amazing again going through that anatomy and physiology uh, this was when uh, George's was celebrating the 10 year anniversary so 10 years of ha of having the physician associate program um, and yeah that's me just going hard on my anatomy and physiology making a plan look I was actually really good you know like this was this was great and look at how just tired and exhausted I was after my first week but yeah I just thought I'd go down memory lane this was a, a good uh, memory lane guys I had no idea the roller coaster ride that was coming. Well, to be fair, I expected it. But again, you know, there's only so much you can expect. But uh, that was a good, uh, was a good, good two years. Stressful, but good. Hey guys, this is Editing Joan here. I just realized I never did an outro clip for the vlog. So I just thought I'd do a quick one just to let you know that I'll be ending the vlog here. And I hope that you enjoyed all the tips and tricks mostly tips given by my friends and i hope you enjoyed this vlog this was my very last week of pa school um i can't believe it's over i really can't um i'm going to be making a separate video in the future about uh just talking about giving a full review my honest review of second year of pa school so look out for that um, all the questions I asked the girls in this video, I'll be answering those questions myself and I'll tell you guys a bit more in depth about what this year has entailed. So look out for that video. 
thank you guys so much for watching thank you for everything that you've been doing for me supporting me those of you who have been watching from day one of pa school up until my last week of pa school thank you thank you thank you thank you so much i appreciate all of you guys um don't forget that all my pa school vlogs are available there's a pa school vlogs playlist down below if you're new if you're in first year and you want to watch everything that i've done over the past two years then please click on the link and you can watch all the videos if you have any questions feel free to comment down below or message me on instagram um or you know if you have my number message me um thank you guys so much for watching have a lovely day and god bless you bye